The family of a man killed in the World Golf Village is hoping for answers even as the case has gone cold. Eli Washtock was shot and killed at the Latera condos two years ago. I'm hoping that we can find whoever did this um, because this crime, it, it was very heinous. It was very up close and personal and um, the person who did this needs to be brought to justice. His murder gained national attention after detectives learned he was conducting a private investigation into the high-profile Michelle O'Connell death case. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with the family and obtained the 911 call from Washtock's murder. Corley's joining us live in the newsroom. Corley, detectives say that this killing is not random. Eli Washtock's murder was personal. Detectives say they sort of have a person of interest, but they don't have any hard leads to name a suspect. But they say it has to be somebody he knows because a stranger could not make it inside this condo without a key fob. They also say there wasn't any sign of forced entry, but Washtock's sister tells me there was money that was stolen from inside a jar inside the condo. Two years ago, Jessica Tiffany's life changed forever when she learned her brother, Eli Washtock, was mysteriously murdered inside a condo in World Golf Village. My mother is taking this extremely hard um, and she's trying so hard to be strong, but um, she needs to know what happened. Washtock's family calls him by his birth name, Craig. He was a mechanic and a father of two. Do you need law enforcement or fire rescue? Uh, um, well, I think I just need an ambulance. Loved ones say Washtock's teenage son called 911 after finding his body the morning of January 31st, 2019. Okay, what's going on there? Um, got shot. Okay, what makes you think that? He is currently laying on the floor with blood around his head. The St. John's County Sheriff's Office turned the case over to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office after learning Washtock was doing his own private research into the Michelle O'Connell case. O'Connell's death was ultimately ruled a suicide, but her loved ones believe she was murdered by her St. John's County deputy boyfriend. His deputy gun was used in her death. O'Connell's mother was close with Eli and believes he was killed because he was getting close in his private investigation. Washtock's sister agrees. I do. Um, I really do. I asked the homicide detective if this could be true. Is there any indication at all that his personal investigation into the Michelle O'Connell case has anything to do with his death? No, we've, uh, we've looked into that uh, in depth and we haven't been able to find anything that uh, would connect any of that. Uh, the officer that was involved in that case, the Michelle O'Connell case, didn't even really seem to know who he was or that he was one of the people investigating him. Okay, do you see, see a weapon there, sir? Yes, there is a weapon. It was his own gun? Yes, it was. Washtock's son tells dispatch there was a lot of gunfire. There is a lot of gunfire? He was shot more than once? I don't know, but there are shots going through the wall. Detectives believe Washtock's killer knows him personally and was in the building with him. There is no perfect murder and it will be solved. It may not be soon, but it will come out. The family is asking for anyone who has any information about Eli Washtuck's murder to come forward so they can have justice. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office is offering an up to $5,000 reward for anyone who has information that can lead to a conviction coming up tonight at 11. Why Washtuck's family feels he was watched before his murder. Reporting live from the newsroom, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.